Welcome to my tutorial on how to use the new UI system for a menu. Quick and dirty, I'm going to show you in less than five minutes how to create a menu. First up, we'll create a panel. This is going to be for the menu bar. We're going to anchor it to the top of the screen um, and then we'll just set the height to 60 pixels and move it to negative 30. It's just positioning it at the top of the screen so it's in the right place. That's where a traditional menu bar is. Then we're going to add a component. Unity 4.6 introduced these new layout components which do a lot of things automatically. So that was the horizontal layout component. Next we'll add a button. You'll see this button's expanded to fill the whole screen. Um, to fix that we're going to add a layout component to it. This layout component is the layout element. There's two settings we need to modify on this. First up we need to set the um, flexible width to zero and then we're going to set the minimum width to say 120. Now we've got our button. That's going to be the top of our button. Next we will add a panel this panel is going to be the back drop for our actual menu. We're going to adjust the panel down so that it's underneath the button. And we're going to move the pivot to the top. That's important to make the automatic layout features that we're about to use work. We're also going to anchor it to the bottom, which is, remember this is the bottom of its parent. So it's actually the bottom of the button, which is the top of the panel. So we'll add a component to that. First up we'll add our layout component and we'll add a vertical layout group. Then we're going to add another layout component um, called the resize uh, size fitter, sorry, called the size fitter and we're going to constrain that on the vertical axis. As soon as we do that the whole thing disappears um, that's because it's constraining it to the size of its children and at the moment it has no children. So we'll go ahead and add some. There's a button. Um, in order for the button to work, we've got to add another one of the layout components, which is the layout element again. And on this one, all we need to do to make this work is set a minimum height. And we're going to set the minimum height to 30. Right, now we have a button. Now if we add more buttons, because we have that layout filler, our content filler component, it will automatically adjust the rectangle um, to fit that. So that's the basis of our menu. The other cool feature that was introduced is this new event system. So we're going to start by adding an on click. This is to the, the top button. We're going to drag in the panel game object. And then we're going to go game object, set active. That's, it takes a bool argument, which we can set in that tick box. We're going to click it, set it to true. So when we click the button, we'll set the game object, set the panel active. Then we're going to go to the panel. We're going to add a component also from the event system. And that's an event trigger. So this we can use on any UI element to produce various events. We're going to use the point exit event. And again we're going to add a listener to it. It's going to be the same panel. And this time we're going to do a game object, set active. But we're going to leave that unchecked so we'll set it to false. So just to recap. Oh, and the last thing we'll do is set the active to, uh, the game object to false. Right now we play. You can see we have a button. Click the button. The menu comes up. You can select and click on each of the buttons. Move off of it. Disappears. There you go. That's a menu in under five minutes. The next couple of minutes of my video I'll just show you how easy it is to add more um, menus so we'll just duplicate that 
and let's duplicate it again just for fun there we go now let's add some more to this one and a few more buttons there and let's remove a few buttons from this one just for kicks and giggles all right now we hit play again and you can see we have our three buttons there automatically laid out nicely we can select them they each have different amounts of buttons and we're good to go um, thank you for watching if you're interested like comment share send me money on paypal thank you